Hello, everyone. Now let's check this knife case study from Peru. And this is one、uh, real case study for Seagate patient hard drive, 8 TB. Now we can see this is the model number. The、so、model ID is ST 8000 DM 004. And we can see that the firmware capacity and some other ID information, including the heads and firm package, are not detected at all. So for this kind of failure, and we can enter the program by COM mode, and then we go to COM terminal, and we can read the original ROM. We can see here read ROM, and we have actually read the ROM here. Now in log window, we can find out this is the original ROM, and now we generate the unlock ROM here. This is unlock ROM, and if we go to the working directory, we can find out the ROM, and also. We can find out the important system files, and here is the copy zero. We have backup the Angelisk and the translator. Now we can find out in the log window、uh, the Angelisk backup success and the translator backup success here, and we have also executed. The common function, common repair, and there is one function called、uh, clear middle catch. Usually, for this kind of Seagate pension hard drives, it's very important and necessary for us to clear middle catch. At the same time, we go to the com terminal, and we can clear the V4 and Use the clear V4 entries, and then we try to regenerate the translator. After we regenerate the translator, we can try to power off and power on the pension drives and see the current status of this pension Seagate hard drive. Now we try to unlock this hard drive. Now we can see that this pension drive gets ready. Before we regenerate the translator, and this drive keeps busy. Now we try to exit this program and re-enter the program. Now we can select this family and click Obtain Details. And click OK. We can see now the drive for this 8 TB has been pro properly detected, and we can also see that the module list is available after this unlock. This is COM terminal. So for this kind of pension drive, we can go to now to check the data error. This is logical scan on this pension drive. Now we can check if this drive data error is accessible or not. We start a logical scan. We can see now the data error is accessible, and we can check the ending part of this data error, and we can see one five zero 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 zero, and until we have the same. Numbers of the max LBA. Now we escape to this LBA and we can、uh, find out if this error. Now we can see that this data error is not accessible. That means this drive has the partition、uh, partial sector access issue. So what to do to fix this problem? Now we can go to com terminal and go to check the V40 again, 
and we can see that entries is zero. So at this time, we need to go to the SA operations and click write the SYS files. And we can select uh, the working directory. And this one, we have backup here, copy zero, accept. So we usually write the end list back and click OK. For this kind of drive, we need to write by the SYS mode and then click OK. Now we check the log window and see that if the SYS file is written successfully. Now after the end list is successfully written back to the pension drive, we can check the V40. Now we can see that it's still uh, zero entries. So we need to try to write again. Write as well as files. And select another working directory, copy zero accept and 35 and we can try to write both copies in SYS mode now let's check the log window it's starting to write the system files to this Seagate pension drive now we can try in the com terminal and control Z. We try to use the soft reset to get the drive ready and enters AT mode. Now this step is very important. We need to try to write the end list back. Sometimes for this kind of failure, the pension drive may get stuck in the middle. So at this time, we need to click stop, uh, or we can try to power off and power on the drive. Unlock the drive again. Now the drive gets ready and unlocked. So at this time, we can try this way, edit, uh, 35, volume 3, and note, we can note the end list. Copy zero, thirty-five, SYS. Click right. We can try to write again. Now in smog window, we can see that the 35 has been written. Now let's check the V40. At this time, we can see that the entries are normal. We can then clear the list. Try to clear the smart. Because this is by remote, and we can see this is expanding word, we need to change it to English.
and then we go to regenerate the translator now we just need to wait until the translator regeneration completes this takes a little bit time so just need to wait Now we can see the transnational regeneration starts.
Now after the transnatal regeneration, we check the V4 serum and we go to check the ending RPA. This means the data for this Seagate 8TB has been fully recovered. Thank you for watching this video.